हेलो फ्रेंड वेलकम टू मरी इंजीनियरिंग हब दिस इज योर नरेटर रवि गुप्ता इन टुडे टॉपिक वी गोट टॉक अबाउट दैट व्हाई एम ई जी आई इंजिन इज नॉट अ टी एर थ्री कंप्लाइंट एंड व्हाई द जी ए इंजिन इज अ टी एर थ्री कंप्लाइंट दिस वी कैन वी विल सी बाय सीरीज ऑफ पिक्टोरियल रिप्रेजेंटेशन एंड वी विल सी दैट व्हाई दिस जी ए इंजिन इज अ टी एर थ्री कंप्लाइंट बट बिफोर बिगनिंग द वीडियो आई वॉन्ट टेल यू that i have made the video regarding the gas engine then what is the difference between a gas engine and a g engine and how the gas engine is been preferred and why it is coming to a market if you want to know about that i will leave this in my description box you can find it from there so let's begin the today video why me gi is a tier 3 not compliant so first before understanding let us first understand what do i mean by tier 3 so as you can see in this chart this is a tier 1 tier 2 tier 3 so this is talking about the nox emission this what should be a nox emission so basically the nox emission is been depend on the type when the ship is been constructed means if a ship is been constructed after 1st jan 2016 in that case it should be constructed in such a way that the emission for a engine having a rpm of less than 130 should be 3.5 g per kilowatt hour if the rpm is in between the range of 130 to 200 2000 then it should be in this ratio and if it is more than 2000 then it should be 2 g per kilowatt hour for tier 3 engine and also the kilowatt should be greater than 130 kilowatt so this is a condition what is the condition first the engine should be more than 130 kilowatt and depending upon the rpm the range of the nox emission will vary for a tier 3 engine for a ship constructed after 1st jan 2016 so as you can see the as the ship construction date is been shifted from 2000 to 11 to 16 the stringentness means the nox emission is becoming more and more stricter and therefore earlier in tier 1 it was 17 but in tier 2 it is 14.4 now it is 3.4 so drastic change so you can see in order to make sure that the engine comply with such nox emission criteria this development of gas engine comes into the pictures but the gas engine which comes into the picture have a two mode one is the gas ignition mode gas injection mode and gas admission mode this gas injection mode is not a tier 3 compliant and it need a help of a egr or scr so why so first thing is that the megi engine is a tier 3 non compliant because it follow the diesel cycle in megi engine gas is injected after pilot fuel have created the atmosphere of the combustion and as soon as a gas fuel is injected fuel from the injector the fuel is ignited so first let understand this so what is happening so this is a gi engine setup as you can see this is the gi engine gas valve this is the window valve and this is the pilot fuel line so if we see the inner side picture so we can see this is the pilot fuel valve this is the gas fuel valve and this is the exhaust valve and this is the inside of the combustion space so what is happening the piston is compressing the air and when it is about to reach at tdc at that time the pilot fuel is ignited when the pilot fuel is ignited at that time it create a atmosphere hot atmosphere it create and at that time after the pilot fuel is ignited and when the piston is at almost at tdc at that time the gas valve emit the gas as the gas is emitted at that time the combustion take place and when the gas is admitted the combustion temperature inside the combustion chamber is already high because the pilot fuel has been used before and which has causes a temperature to rise and after that providing a proper combustion temperature which is required sufficient for self ignition of a gas fuel and as a gas fuel ignited a hot gas air temperature is form 
inside a compression space so what is happening so what is happening if th this is if high temperature is reaching in the combustion space is very normal so why it is leading to FT and not compliance so what is happening so now before understanding that why it is not complying with the not tier 3 compliance we need to understand that what led to the production of NOx means why when we can say that it is producing too much NOx so basically NOx formation depend upon the three things what are the things first is the combustion temperature if your combustion temperature is higher than 1100 degree and second is that how long you are maintaining this higher combustion temperature which is called resilient time and third is the amount of fuel injected so if your NOx formation depend upon these three things first is the combustion temperature and not and the combustion temperature should be higher than the 1100 degree celsius the second is the how much time you are maintaining this 1100 degree temperature for which period of time and third is the amount of fuel injected so if we see the scenario of the gas injection valve or gas injector gi engine we can see that the pilot fuel is been injected before which is causing the combustion temperature to rise around more than 850 and after that the gas fuel is been injected which is causing the temperature to rise above 1100 degrees celsius and this temperature is been maintained for a longer period of time and as it has been maintained for a longer period of time it is not complying with the NOx 3 tier compliance because the amount of NOx which has been generated is more than the requirement of tier 3 and therefore it is not complying with the tier 3 but the amount is still within the range of a tier 2 and therefore it is complying with the tier 2 okay so as these three thing is a main thing which is depending upon which the NOx formation depend so as discussed all these things is happening in the MEGI engine as fuel is injected it ignites rapidly leading to a reach such high temperature and it remain in such high temperature for sufficient longer period of time to develop NOx component and hence not complying with the tier 3. So I hope this is very clear if in a synopsis we say we can say like that as the combustion temperature because in the GI engine is been maintained very high therefore it helped in the formation of NOx and this NOx formation is been increased because of the increased resilient time and the amount of gas which has been injected and because of this this tier 3 non-compliant is coming in picture but the amount of NOx is been generated is more than the tier 3 requirement but less than the tier 2 and therefore the engine is tier 2 compliance okay i hope this is a very clear solution now g engine is a nox compliance how because g engine follow auto cycle and here the temperature build up is not rapid and resilient time is also very less hence nox formation is not that much and therefore it is tier 3 compliant here the mixture is mixed beforehand and ignition is occurring over a period of time and not instant so less chance of NOx formation. So let's see with a diagram. So what is happening here? As you can see this is the exhaust valve, this is the pilot valve and this is a piston and here this is the basically the scavenge port. So when the piston is below the scavenge port the air is coming in and when the exhaust valve is open the air is driving out the remaining exhaust and after the exhaust valve is closed and when the piston is moving up the compression stroke begin before just bringing a compression stroke this is the SGAV safe gas admission valve the gas is been admitted as the gas is been admitted it is properly been mixed with the amount of air and a thorough mixture of gas and air is been formed and when it been compressed the pilot fuel is ignited and it causes it to burn now as it is burning the thing we need to take care as it is burning it is starting to moving down so it is 
starting its expansion stroke as soon as it starting the burning so as it is expanding the cooling effect is also coming into picture so we can say the combustion pressure is also reducing as the combustion is taking place and therefore the combustion is been taking place over a longer period of time and hence the combustion temperature is not reaching that much amount of period of that much amount time for longer period and therefore it is a tier 3 compliance so i hope now this thing is clear okay so the same thing i have written here that here the temperature build up is not rapid and resilient time is also very less therefore nox formation is not that much and therefore tier 3 compliance why because the mixer is mixed beforehand and ignition is occurring over a period of time and not instant so less chance of nox formation so i hope this is the clear now let's see that we are using methane as a fuel so what advantage we are getting as a methane as a fuel so first is that methane is a non toxic okay but the problem with the methane is that it is a greenhouse gas fuel basically it's a greenhouse gas component which is consisting of ch4 which is one part of a carbon and four part of a hydrogen so basically it is a ch4 component which is a greenhouse gas component which is 25 to 28 time harmful than the co2 so if a methane slip occur then it is very harmful to the atmosphere so we should be careful while using it as a fuel to have a minimum methane slip so what is what do i mean a methane slip so methane slip is that these are the methane fuel which are supposed to be used in the combustion but was not been utilized because of improper combustion scenario and hence will be a major factor for gsg emission so this fact is called methane slip so in the exam if they ask you what is the methane slip so basically it means that the amount of fuel of methane which we are not being utilized for the combustion purpose and is been escaping to the atmosphere and because of its greenhouse gas component of which is harmful 25 to 28 times of the co2 is affecting the atmosphere and leading to the greenhouse warming or global warming and therefore these gas need to be constricted okay and therefore when we are using a methane as a fuel we should be very careful about the methane slip so i hope in today video you have gained the information that why the megi engine is tier 3 compliance not compliance and MEGA engine is a tier 3 compliance so friend before ending the video i request all of you please 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 do subscribe my channel and please do share with your friend see if you encourage me i will continue to bring this type of video for you for all of you because this is not a mean for me to earn this is only mean to spread education so please try to understand these videos are only for you so please please share and please subscribe i want as much as people can learn through this platform so please share and please subscribe and please do keep posting your beautiful comment so that it encourages me to post this kind of video have a good dear friend have a good day and take care of your health. Thank you and good night.